Does your Toyota 3.4 liter idle really high? Because ours does. And I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. The most common cause for this lies right there in the throttle body. More specifically, it's caused by the idle air controller, which is underneath the throttle body. So to get at that, we actually need to remove the throttle body, which is pretty straightforward. To start off this job, use a 14 millimeter wrench to take off your throttle cable and your cruise control cable. If you have an automatic, you will also have a kick down cable that will also need to be removed. Next up, I will remove all the vacuum hoses coming into the intake, also unclamping the intake from both the throttle body and the air box. Then it's time to remove this portion of the intake. With that out of the way, we now have access to the electrical connectors going into the throttle body, as well as one more vacuum line. Remove the two bolts and two nuts holding the throttle body in place, and then the throttle body will be ready to slide out. And with the throttle body removed from the intake manifold, you can see there is two coolant lines and one more vacuum line to remove. And just like that, the throttle body is off. Now, to give you guys a little insight on this 4Runner, this thing just had pretty much a full rebuild slash mild restoration. Uh, new frame, new engine. The original motor had over 500,000 kilometers on it. The one that I put in it on the rebuild had 230. But the engine's an 01, where this is a 96. So what I had to do is take the throttle body, the engine harness, all the associated sensors and stuff off the 96 motor with 500,000 on it, and put it on this newer motor. So as far as I know, the idle air controller on this has never been touched. Let's grab a Phillips screwdriver, take off these one, two, three, four bolts, and uh, see what it looks like. Those are tight <laughs> and have been there for 500,000 kilometers. Just a quick heads up, these bolts are extremely easy to strip, so make sure you have a good screwdriver that gets a good contact, and be careful. Alright, now does this guy want to be free? Yeah, it does. All right, so now that the idle air control valve is free, you can see inside, it's fairly dirty in and around pretty much everywhere. So I'm gonna take this guy, which is throttle body cleaner, and I'm going to use that to spray inside here, try to like spray as much gunk out as I absolutely possibly can. Oh yeah, look at all that. Grime just coming out of there. Whew! This stuff burns in the cuts. Well, it's definitely. a lot cleaner in there. And while I'm at it, might as well give the throttle body the same treatment. I like to replace the seal for the idle air control valve because usually it's swollen and really hard to get in those little grooves and to get a good seal. 
And then on to reassembly. Not much to say here, just repeat what we did taking it apart in reverse. All right, job done. The idle air control valve is all clean. Let's see if it helped. That's what, 800 RPM? That's awesome. So yeah, obviously this fix worked great and hopefully it does for you too. As you can see, I have a check engine light and an ABS light on this thing. That is because A, I don't have uh, any sort of O2 sensors on this thing yet. The O1 exhaust and O2 sensors that are on this thing does not plug into the 96 harness. So I think I need to get some 96 O2 sensors, put them in place and that will be fixed. And other than that, the ABS is because I'm physically missing uh, the right rear ABS sensor. I just don't have it. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this episode of Dirt Garage and I hope you enjoyed it. If you could do me a huge favor, smash that thumbs up button and hey, consider subscribing. I upload weekly Toyota building, wheeling, and off-roading content. And apparently sometimes tutorials. Anyways, I'll catch you next week. Peace. Yeah. Let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm